Welcome back, Herbalots. So I was asked a question here, and that question was, what would happen if you threw a softball from the International Space Station? Would it come back and hit you one orbit later? So I have a little craft here that I'm, I'm just running this in a sandbox mode. All it has is a whole bunch of these um, decouplers. I have the cheats turned on so nothing will blow up because otherwise it would just be a lot more difficult and I just manually launch this into a fairly low orbit. And so when I hit um, space, then all of these things are going to fire off at once in all kinds of different directions. So what we're going to see is what happens with these objects, specifically what will happen in, in one orbit, which is about 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and fire. And they are all over the place. So check this out from the screen now. Kerbal physics tends to do strange stuff sometimes when you fire off this many objects, but uh, let's just give it a go. Hopefully, yeah, still tracking all of these objects. So we need to go to about 30 minutes. Uh, let's take a look here. Well, let's... We're coming up on the, the half orbit time. We're not actually tracking any of these. Why are we not tracking any of these? Yeah, but you can still see they're all kind of equal distance. Um, we'll play just a little bit of speed. Seems like they're all still getting further away. Okay. Now we're coming up. This is the halfway point. So if any of these are going to start coming back, then this would be the time. Looks like we have a pretty decent smattering of them in, in most directions. It looks like they're continuing to get further away. Still, none of them could be tracked, unfortunately. This is what I get for not doing a more substantial payload. But um, it looks like they're all at least 30 kilometers away. It's still getting further away. Oh wait, 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 wait. See this one is coming back. Okay, so... It looks like most of them have gone roughly one orbit. Most of them just scattered out into all directions and they're getting further away. But we did have this one here that actually came fairly close. And so the answer that I proposed to this without doing any kind of a test or anything was that if you had it at exactly the right angle, it would come back towards you. And uh, that seems to be fairly well substantiated. We had this one object that came relatively close. You know, we had maybe 50 of these test objects. That seems to be the only one that's even remotely close. Now, presumably, if it had been a slightly better angle, then we might have had even more success in having it come right back in and hit us. But you'd have to have an absolutely perfect shot to stand a chance. So that one's not getting further away. This one's actually getting a little bit closer, so we'll watch this one for another minute. And that one's also getting fairly close. So this is about, I think, the, the one orbit time. And uh, you can see that a couple of them get fairly close, but none of them really come that close. 
So uh, there you have it. If you threw a baseball from the International Space Station, odds are very, very good, almost certain, that it will not come back to smack you in a, an orbit, although it is still dangerous. Don't recommend this to any astronauts, but um, presumably if you're an astronaut, you're smart enough not to try this. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Um, let me know if you have any more questions in the comments, and we'll see you next time.